Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're here, my name is Tara. I know you guys really love Instant Pot recipes, so today I thought it would be super fun for us to make one of my all-time favorite Italian dishes, fusilli with chopped meat gravy. This recipe could not get any simpler. We're gonna be using our Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can still make this recipe. I will leave complete instructions for both the Instant Pot and the stovetop method, as well as a full ingredient list in the description box below. Before we get started, if you have not already, I would love for you to be a part of this community. You do that by hitting the red subscribe button that's right below this video. Next week, we are making a beef roast, super delicious, great for meal prepping. You do not wanna miss this recipe. Be sure to click the bell icon, that way you're notified each time I post a new video. If you guys are ready to make a super easy and delicious fusilli with chopped meat gravy, then keep on watching. Here are all of the ingredients we'll be using today. A complete list will be in the description box below. So we're gonna start by mincing our garlic. I absolutely love garlic. I tend to go heavy on it. If you want, you can use less. Of course, you can use more. Then we're gonna grab our Instant Pot, set to saute on high, add a drizzle of olive oil, and then we're gonna add our ground beef. I'm using organic grass-fed beef here, and I'm using sirloin. You use whatever kind that you like. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. We're gonna keep stirring until the meat gets nice and brown, and then we are gonna drain off the grease. I find it's easiest to remove the liner in order to strain out the grease. I do recommend straining out the grease for this recipe. If you would prefer, you can also dab it with a paper towel and that would work just as well. Now we're gonna add the meat back to the Instant Pot along with our dried spices. I love to toast them up like this, the sugar and the fresh garlic. A little drizzle of olive oil. This comes together so quickly. That's why I love this recipe. We're gonna add some tomato paste and some beef bouillon and of course, a dry red wine. You can use water if you like. I just love the flavor that the wine gives the sauce. Next, we're gonna add a bay leaf and start layering the pasta. If you're following a gluten-free diet, simply swap out the fusilli I'm using in this recipe for something like a red lentil pasta or a chickpea flour pasta. It will still be absolutely delicious. I've broken the fusilli in half so it will fit inside the Instant Pot and I'm kind of using a crisscross pattern just to get it in there. Now I'm gonna pour the tomato sauce right on top, followed by water. I'm putting enough water until it covers the fusilli almost completely, and I'm just making sure the fusilli is kind of pressed down there, but I'm not stirring. Make sure your silicone ring is on, close the lid, hit cancel on the Instant Pot, set your pressure to high pressure for four minutes. Then we're gonna allow five minutes of natural pressure, and then it's time for us to perform a quick release. Using the back of a spoon so I don't burn my hand, we're gonna allow the pin to drop. Then we're gonna open up the lid. The fusilli is perfectly cooked. Make sure you remove the bay leaf. Add some fresh Italian parsley. Give everything a stir. This sauce will naturally thicken in only a few minutes. One of my all-time favorite Italian dishes made so easy with the Instant Pot. You guys are gonna love this recipe. If you like this video, you're gonna wanna check out my Instant Pot recipe playlist. I'm gonna leave it over here for you. Go ahead and click the video on the screen and I will see you over there. 